Hello, my name is Andrei Pataha. Let me show you how I use fine-tuned GPT model in order to enhance new team members onboarding in my team and simplify work with knowledge base for my team members. Imagine the case that you have big knowledge base at your project and you have big team who interacts with this knowledge base on daily basis. Team members want to check how existing processes should work. Or for example, when new team members are in the process of onboarding, they always have a lot of questions about the project and organization in general. In order to automate the part of interaction of team members with knowledge base and increase efficiency, I developed chatbot that is based on the OpenAI GPT model and fine-tuned to address specific business needs. This helps to save significant amount of time of colleagues and boost the efficiency of the team. I can't share the knowledge base that I use in my company because of the confidentiality. And that's why I created separate knowledge base in Confluence Cloud. Here is the space. And imagine that we have a page that is called Ways of Working. And one of the sections on this page is User Story Workflow. If you don't know what a user story is, let me briefly explain. A user story is a brief and simple description of a feature or functionality from a user's perspective. User stories are used in agile software development to capture requirements and prioritize tasks based on user needs. A user story workflow is a sequence of steps or stages that outline how a user story completed from start to finish. Throughout this workflow, the user story can move back and forth between stages if adjustments are needed or if issues arise. Jira allows team to customize workflows to match their specific development processes and to ensure efficient collaboration and tracking of tasks. And taking into account that very often development teams customize the workflow, there is need to have clear understanding who can move user story from one status into another status, when, under what circumstances, what stages do we have, and how they are called. And this is typical task that you can delegate to your chatbot and train it to handle such questions. So, you can fine-tune the existing GPT model developed by OpenAI and integrate any your corporate messenger with a chatbot. In our today's example, I am going to use Slack as a corporate messenger. In this example, I am a regular employee who wants to get more information about current user story workflow. Let me ask a few simple questions. The first one sounds like this. In which order are user stories moved from one state to another? And I receive the answer that user stories are moved from the backlog to the ready for development, then to in development state then into ready for test state, then to the in test state, then ready for acceptance and accepted. This is completely much with what we have in the confluence. And as a new employee, I don't need to disturb my team members to get answers to my questions. And everyone are happy in the team. Let's check another question. What conditions need to be met for a user story to be moved into the accepted state? This is also a really important and popular question, because all team needs to stay aligned when user story can be considered as completed and done. For such cases, delivery teams usually set up so-called definition of done. And we can see that chatbot replied to us confirming that user story can be moved into the accepted state when it meets the definition of done, which includes implementing requirements, passing QA testing, presenting to the product owner and having no critical or major severity defects. And let's ask one more question, the final one. Who owns a user story when it is in the backlog state? And we receive response that matches our processes and the information described in our knowledge base. When a user story is in the backlog state, the ownership belongs to the product owner. They are responsible for its definition describing BD scenarios and ensuring readiness for development. That's how you can use fine-tuned model in the everyday activities and interactions with the knowledge base. I hope you enjoyed the video. Put your thumbs up, 
leave the comments and follow the channel to not miss other interesting videos. Have a great day! Bye!